what is up guys welcome back to pro traders path i'm back with another video as promised this is going to be the video 2 regarding the silver bullet but this video is not about silver bullet but it's the concept from where i actually got my silver bullet strategy okay and a lot of things or a lot of questions that you guys have will make sense regarding this one but before i go to the main part i have a few things i want to talk about number one is thanks a lot for the level of support you guys are showing regarding my last silver bullet video if you are new watching this one i highly suggest you to go back and uh, check my uh, silver bullet video strategy that will give you some idea or some insights about how i trade or how you can use that information in terms of improving your uh, own strategy as well and in today's video i will be talking about the dealing range and how they form or how they work okay and where we exactly look when there is a dealing range what sort of things we actually focus on also another thing few people asked about the indicator that i was mentioning now indicator is just to help you to make life easier this is the indicator i use ict killzone plus pivot point by tfo or trader for opp this is one and i have this one ict higher time frame candles by fadi this one i don't really use much it i only use it when i'm looking into chart from my laptop or tab or mobile only then this indicator comes very handy i will give you both of the settings of this indicator first and then i will go to the part that i'm talking about look at the author only use those two authors indicator otherwise it will be different and you will be confused as you can see i have selected five minutes candle 50 of them 15 minutes candle 25 of them and one hour candle 15 of them i don't look into the other what it does is when you are on chart on your chart it will give you these three things okay so when i'm in one minute chart i have the 15 minutes and one minute candle with within my chart but since i have multiple display and the membership as well so i can simply use the split screen and do those things but it's a thing that can make life easier okay and you can select how many candles you want to see by uh, like coming here and selecting maybe let's say 30 and i'm pressing okay now it gave me five more candles out there okay so now total 30 of the 15 minutes candle and then whatever the selection i have so that's what it does okay but i don't really use it that much if i'm doing something on my laptop or mobile or tab only then i use that indicator that's why uh, that's how it looks like okay that's the one the other one that i use for my silver bullet or i talked about my silver bullet what it does is it will show you five days worth of the sessions okay whatever session you are marking here that's what it will give you how you can change it up to your preference that's up to you time frame i limiter it means after one hour if you go to two hour three hour four hour it won't show you those boxes or marks i will show you like what it means you see the asia session is starting yesterday's asia session took the buy side gave you the sell side if you change this one to let's say one it will only show you the current day like this day and here okay the moment this one is printed it will remove like the london appears this london will be removed now it's asia that's why the previous asia is removed so it does that okay how many sessions you want the limiter is i kept in one hour but if you put it more than that or less than that what gonna happen is when i go to one hour it will still show me this the moment i go above one hour let's say two hours it won't show me any sessions over there that's that's the limiter okay but one hour feels good i think i don't really need one hour but anyway i kept it like that and the next thing time zone the most important because this is negative five why the new york time if you see here is now negative five because of the daylight savings so once the daylight saving is gone new york time will be minus four or negative four something around this area okay caracas or something around this area new york will be my negative four so you must have to adjust it here okay 
there are other indicators that doesn't have the option to adjust the time zone that's why when there is daylight saving those indicator will give you false information that's why i actually use this indicator because it has lots of option to customize drawing time cutoff i don't really use that text i don't use that okay level uh, level text something like that it's here i think drawing time cut off something like this is here but i don't know what's the uh, point of it okay i don't really use it now this display text i don't use it but i don't know why it's turned on over here because what it does is it prints in uh, let me go to a lower time frame so that the area is bigger so what it does is it prints inside what is the session like london silver bullet blah blah you know like tens text transparency when i reduce it it will be more visible when i increase it it will be less visible so that's the thing same with the box transparency like the box or color you can see if i reduce it to let's say 50 it will be very dark see and if i go to 95 or something it will be very light so that's why I kept it around 90 that feels good to me or in my eyes I don't use the text as I said it says just the session names London Sil Asia whatever you write here okay Asia London quarter one quarter two however you write it will show like that so I don't display the text now quarter one quarter two is for something that I will t talk about later in this channel you don't need that but this is the asian london session regarding the silver bullet and the time okay 20 to 00, 00. so it's 8 pm to 12 pm four hours and the london session this is the kill zone okay this is not the silver bullet it's the kill zone that's the liquidity we mostly target and london session kill zone starts at 2 ends at 4 am so this is um 8 pm to 12 am 2 am to 4 a.m. after that I have quarters selected but I can just combine two quarter and then put the New York a.m. and p.m. session kill zone so 1 30 to 4 okay usually it's 1 to 4 but be because of the lunch uh, it starts from 12 it ends something around 1 1 30 I don't really need the p.m. to be honest I don't trade p.m. but I don't use it okay I just use these two Asia and London done here all unticked okay all the levels unticked but if you need you can do that what it does is it marks the asia session high and low london session high and low all those things by itself if you see the pivot it will mark that okay if you tick on the uh, level it will mark the asia uh, sorry london high london low asia high things like that whatever you can see on my chart that's what it does i don't really use that that's why i don't need it but as I said it's there to help your life easier see like how f hard it is to do this all you need to do is just click hide and click ok on your indicator everything is in front of your eyes now you do it in your way day of the week level you can have it if not you don't need it it's it's just this the Friday the Monday whatever it's showing on the chart that's it's that ok day of the week midnight you can have you whatever you can write different names here and then tick it and it will appear on your chart true day open i don't really need any of this i can simply mark the 8 30 and 9 30 or uh, sorry 12 o'clock and 8 30 uh, opening price of the candle that's my 8 30 and midnight opening as simple as that time stamps is this bar or the line on here that you can see if i move it uh, untick it that line will be gone but i like it that way because it gives me a view of the high and low of the day that's why i kept it okay so 00, 00 to 12 which is friday 12 a.m to m monday 12 a.m okay whatever in between yes i have to change it to be honest it's not the accurate one because it should be before the asia session and here before the asia session because from here to here that is your new day range cause asia session london session new york am new york pm then the end of the day again new day opening so it should be changed but i kept it like that i don't really need it i can simply go to the daily chart and mark the high and low of the candle as simple as that mm, i kept it okay just to find out the days I, I don't know I, I don't really need to customize too much except for the making it clear okay that's all the settings I use for this one 
and for the higher time frame candle on if you are using it you can use whatever time frame you can even select whatever time you want okay so you can just make whatever you want here you can change the color border week whatever fair value gap color you can change it okay and volume imbalance you can change it it's up to you i don't really need so yeah i think that's all about the indicators if you are actually using it if not it's okay you if you can mark it manually that's completely okay okay guys so that's enough about the indicators now let me start with the ict dealing range ict dealing range consists of four parts okay number one is engineered liquidity i'm pretty sure whoever here watched ict's videos or heard about his concepts they heard about engineered liquidity this engineered liquidity is also called accumulation which is it's creating a range where it has buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity both side of the range or in other term we call it consolidation the second term or second part is manipulation what gonna happen is <coughs> price gonna make a fake move towards one side of the liquidity and then later on you will find it's going to the other side of the liquidity so manipulation is the first move or the fake move that price creates to grab one side of the liquidity and distribution is the original original move that price was supposed to give or price is willing to give after the manipulation and then it comes to rebalance or balancing the price what it looks like in drawing i'm gonna show you that first and then i will explain few other things just remember these four steps okay accumulation manipulation distribution rebalance or balance however you want to remember it remember these four points these four points will be what i will be referring later in my video or while while i'm giving you the example and showing you other steps okay so engineered liquidity will look something like this what happened before i don't know maybe price came lower took some liquidity then at a range it's doing something like this okay it's consistently trading like this sideways it's creating these liquidities on the sell side these liquidities on the buy side what you want to see is price it's going higher taking all the buy side liquidity then it's coming lower taking all the sell side liquidity so in this term what what do we have we have a range bound price action here okay like this we have a range bound price action that we can call accumulation or number one i'm gonna draw like this so that later on it is easier for you guys to understand when the buy side liquidity is taken which was where here right this is the buy side liquidity this specific move is called the manipulation on number two now the distribution so two is completed now i want to make number three what is number three distribution distribution is until this far i don't really know until i see one thing which is a pullback pullback to what let's say i'm seeing market is going higher from here coming here going higher once anything like this is formed around that area now i have a range that i can look for the premium and discount for so once price is at the equilibrium level like from the high to the low it created from this pullback once price is at this level i can confirm that this is the low okay so this is number three which is also called distribution once distribution has been done what we look into is a rebalance where most importantly what i want to see around this area is on this is i'm sorry i should have written the higher time frame so on the higher time frame for this case you can look into 15 minutes one hour up to you whatever time frame you are trading go higher than that to find this thing okay because the higher you go the better it is for you because the more accuracy you will get from that 
I said over and over again, whenever you are in doubt, try to zoom out. What does it mean? You are in one minute finding nothing in doubt. Is it going to go higher or is it going to go lower? Zoom out means go to a different time frame higher than one minute. It will close a lot of the confusions because lot of the confusing areas will be merged into one single candle or maybe one or two single candles. So this is why I say when in doubt, try to zoom out anyway. So when on higher time frame you find your accumulation, you saw the buy side liquidity is taken. Now market came lower, market took your sell side liquidity. Until market takes your sell side liquidity, you do nothing but wait. Okay. If you are trading the other time, then the silver bullet. Buy side taken, sell side taken. Now what you wait for is number four or the move for move for for towards what your equilibrium level above that what is sitting here this is your premium remember pd arrays this is your premium this is your discount you look for your arrays on your premium what sort of arrays you can have a fair value gap sitting here okay you can have maybe a volume imbalance sitting here you can have maybe another fair value gap sitting here whatever like inversion maybe something like that but this is all your premium errors you want to look for a reversal from there until this so when price reach to your premium array let's see if i can extend okay yeah so let's say it came here in your premium array and now it will give you the ICT 2022 model around this area like this okay maybe not this clean when drawing we draw clean right maybe not this clean but you will find some sort of 2022 model setup or you can simply use your OTZ on this leg to continue lower okay now once you find this it's a high probability if you don't find this it's a low probability but still it's a still it's in a very good area because you have a dealing range market is trading inside of a premium array and respecting that you are entering from there that's why you have still a high probability that you are on the right side of the market there is a exception i'm coming to that later once i uh, once i'm done with this part so now that market is coming again lower from that now you have your position four on number four what is this doing this is rebalancing imbalance right fair value volume imbalance inversion fair value whatever your number four is done here a step one engineered liquidity a step two manipulation done a step three distribution what does it mean it took the sell side liquidity it went even lower that's that sort of thing lower doesn't matter but sell side liquidity maybe it can come little lower and then do this but that's your distribution because it's coming from a higher point than the range okay so it still it will give you a very good area to trade from however you have distribution now you want to see a balance or rebalance so it's going higher it can do this sort of a structure it can go a state like this it's going higher it's going for the rebalance it rebalanced some imbalance now it's coming down now you are looking for your entry either you can enter from here aggressive one or you can wait for another break of a structure or something like this one m form or the simply a break of a structure like this when market broke this structure you can find a fair value here this can be your possible entry area so you can enter from here targeting what nothing around this leg but that liquidity if this is giving you more than one to two be happy with this or at least try to take some partial at one to two if it's not giving you one to two if there is something on the left some relative equal lows with this low you can go until that far but there is no guarantee market will go that low but this area is what market will trade like this buy side and this sell side but if it takes the buy side fast and gives you the like if the manipulation happens on the buy side and gives you the sell side distribution 
the balance and rebalance that thing will not take the buy side liquidity until there is an exception if that happens i'm gonna come to that model right now just stay with me so what you target is the number three's liquidity so once you see accumulation on your higher time frame try to frame that area or mark that area with however uh, you want to mark it until it takes your buy side and sell side you have no range remember you it has to take the buy side and the sell side during silver bullet what we do is we wait for the accumulation manipulation then we enter on the distribution leg when the original distribution happens we, we enter into that leg but after the silver bullet if there is anything that you are looking to enter from that is the way you should look for your trade okay find a range on higher time frame where you have some not this many but little bit now look here here is the thing price took some sell side liquidity from what i draw okay then it created a short term high a short term low that low can be even lower like equal like this am i considering this as my manipulation no why not because it didn't take yeah like this sell side after this and this low it didn't take your buy side that's why i'm extending the area like this i will explain it on the main chart but i hope it's making sense so still it's in range bound because from the high to the low that you can see it's it most likely there will be weeks over here okay if even if it goes a little bit it will be mostly the weeks uh, and by one one peep or one tick something like that not not a big move okay it's a big move here from a low it's going straight towards the upside it violating your all the buy side liquidities and then without doing anything it's straight away coming for the sell side that is your range i don't know if i'm actually making sense or not i will go to the live chart i will i will show you like once the buy side was taken we wait for the sell side to be taken okay so we are waiting for the sell side to be taken once the sell side was taken that is your engineered liquidity levels or the dealing range that we have where we can tr if we find a trade in our optimal trade entry zone or ote or something like that that is where we enter targeting the liquidity and if it's creating any relative equal low very close to this level you can target that as well but highly suggest to stay with the distribution leg or dealing range number three position okay if that is good enough profit to you it's it's good now there will be some times when you will see market is doing another thing okay the exception i'm gonna give you the both of the drawing straight away and then i will actually um go to the main chart so instead of coming lower what market did is you have a pdra here higher time frame or in your lower time frame wherever you found your pdra you have a pdra here market did something like this okay in this market came a bit lower market may be tapped your pdra one more time but this was the time market should come and take the sell side instead of doing this it went higher it took the number four so this is your number three that's your number four right it took this liquidity now it is a problem why it's a problem that means market is not done with its buy side liquidity it will never come to this sell side what gonna happen if you see the number four of the rebalancing legs high is taken you will see market may become one more time this low it creates something like this this is where you enter for your long trade targeting what not this high not any other high but that number two this is the only exception if for any reason price takes the number four's liquidity now there might be sometimes this sort of liquidity levels okay now you, you can say like okay so this swing high was taken 
why you are saying this swing high how can i identify that i already told you which area to look for this is discount this is premium if you are looking for a sell short entry you look into your discounted area once market is above that creating a structure inside of a pd array let's say this this swing high was in your discount but not inside of your pd array okay somewhere around this area this is not something you should look into this is what i said about this sort of liquidity this is called inducement this is your inducement there is a swing high that doesn't make sense on your left or maybe it makes sense because you have three fair value gaps on this leg okay one fair value two fair value and you have number three three fair value so the third fair value what we do from top to bottom okay we ignore this one that's why this swing high even though it respected it came lower and market eventually went for the other fair value why i'm saying this because when we draw our otz okay i already have a fib i know but why i use another one is because i need that uh premium discount level when we try our otz look that high is not even 62 percent retracement but this one was inside the optimal trade entity it was a optimal retracement here this one was not i i just draw it so i hope you are understanding my thing also this fair value is sitting below my otz but that fair value is aligning perfectly with my otz this these are the influence added influence or confluence these are the things that will give you accuracy you have to understand things like that way okay i will i will give you a lot of other things very soon but i hope these are making sense this is why this liquidity is more important than than this liquidity this is yes it's it's in premium it's trading above that equilibrium level or the 50 percent level but this is not a very good retracement price can still retrace higher but once price retraces to that optimal trade entry why this is this is a very good level because this thing is coming for like i don't know how many decades people are using these levels as their optimal trading zone these areas as their entry points so these if, let's say ICT when ICT has 800 40 or 60k subscribers okay uh, which is nearly a million subscriber now ICT has a video regarding his OTE okay or this where did I find it from of course from ICT but OTE he has a video I saw other ICT students or different strategy trader they are using OTE they didn't find it from ICT what did they find from some other guys some books some uh, levels at the Fibonacci uh, they are talking about i have so many books in my house as well i can show you some books as well but anyway all those people who are using these area or testing this area and finding that it works what do you think like majority of time when it works what do you think people are not gonna use these levels of course they are going to use these levels and when a liquidity on that level is getting violated that is a very like bad thing for you to target the opposite direction that's why i'm saying okay i hope it's making sense now i don't i don't really know like how well i'm able to make things clear to you guys but when that happens only then you are looking into the opposite direction you can still look for the and you will you will find your multiple break of a structure after that to go that high and in this time you don't even need to put your stop loss here or you know like a very low stop loss something like that in this time you will find a very good setup you all you have to do is wait for your perfect setup until it goes and uh, takes that liquidity it can come even this this far but it will never go below that liquidity or take that liquidity before taking that never means before taking that it can come like this but you will see it's reversing from here going all the way to that buy side liquidity of that dealing range i hope it made sense now this is s p 500 when i just found this example straight away here so let's see let's see what happened this is 15 minutes chart i have reply mode on because what happened after may make you 
like if you are your heart is not strong enough it can cause your heart failure that's why i'm not gonna <laughs> show you what happened after okay after what i said or what i showed here now as you can clearly see okay price is range bound it's just creating high low high low high low but it's range bound this range now let's wait on your head time frame to tweak take one side of liquidity yes it's a very good liquidity taken since price traded few ticks or few handles higher than the buy side liquidity level when you have a tested system a strategy on the market that works for you the best doesn't matter you don't have to use ICT you don't have to use um, the silver bullet model I shared okay and also a lot of people have question regarding the silver bullet I am trying my best to give them the answer but if you have any questions simply go to ICT's channel which is the inner circle trader okay that oh sorry not the trading the inner circle okay this is my first mentor like the other guy but I will like online mentor okay YouTube mentor not like I personally took mentorship from him if you search silver bullet here on the ICT's channel on this search bar search silver bullet you will find his 2023 model of silver bullet watch this video okay he uploaded seven months ago it has 711k views think about it and come back to my channel watch my silver bullet video and then talk about it if it makes sense or not I'm not gonna uh, like include a lot of part of his channel in my channel but mostly you see like London Silver Bullet 3M to 4M he's giving you times and everything he's marking the buy side sell side liquidity wherever it is and then during the silver bullet that's the silver bullet start 3M you, he found the fair value gap here he entered from here targeting that sell side what I gave you is and also he is showing it on 5 minutes time frame don't forget that what I gave you is how you can use the London sessions uh, New Year session those sort of things having some rules having some ideas okay ICT here he gave you some idea as well but you will when you listen to his video watch this 90 minutes of the video 19 minutes you will find a lot of your answer in my video okay uh, like you will have some questions from this you will find the answer in my video accumulation price took the buy side now I want to see it's taking the sell side where wherever the highest it reach I don't mind seeing that see how quick was it the price took the buy side and the sell side the moment it took the sell side I have now a possible dealing range why I'm saying a possible is because I didn't get any rebalance to imbalance as you see I have a imbalance here as a fair value gap on the higher time frame and I have this volume imbalance over here okay it's a small on higher time frame but it will be a very good area in lower time frame but anyway higher time frame higher time frame point of interest is it in the premium or discount from the high to low I can say it's in premium it's above the 50% level but still just for the understanding purpose is it premium yes is it premium yes it's extreme premium also for the understanding purpose let me see the OTZ of that zone so that's the OTZ remember I'll just mark the 6 to level if that is the OTZ okay okay first thing first I'm going too far ahead because I it's a possibility it didn't retrace to any of that or in the discount so I don't know if this is if this is the uh, area price will retest or if this is my OTZ or not so let's fast forward on go to next candle okay still it didn't retest now it's retesting but that's the lowest it reached now I can look for the OTZ man so that's the OTZ now that's OTZ okay of the range 
the low 6 to level and that's the high but let me see since now it's in my higher time frame point of interest i'm gonna drop down to one minute okay in one minute what i can see this is the inducement i was talking about remember this 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 is just the 15 minute candles week this candles week that tapped here and that created that fair value okay the week of this candle that created this fair value let me put another mark so that you can understand what i'm talking about in one minute see so this is not your retracement this is just when market was going it created a week long week that's why your higher time frame is very important you look into all this in higher time frame then because what what you can see here is liquidity market structure some fair value gap that price is literally sitting on and then going higher eventually you can like if you follow the one to two risk to reward you can find from this level of entry you can find your one to two but i don't know where you will put your stop loss since there are lots of volume imbalances maybe here and target your one to two you can still get that if i'm not wrong market will come up to that far okay that's why i, I have hidden all the char, uh, chart so now there is this thing it tapped into my otz okay it tapped into my otz but can it go any higher that's the question now what i'm trying to say here is from this high to this low i have my otz marked over there level one level okay but let me go and mark the otz one more time it took the inducement although this is just a week in 15 minutes that's the 15 minutes fair value let me remove this one otherwise we all will be confused where is my otz here now there is a volume imbalance above that i have fair value gap volume imbalance but let me come from the top to bottom because i need to see what what's happening from top to bottom and where i can actually put my entry or if i look for my entry where can i i have fair value gap with volume imbalance sitting here which was previously tested and then market went lower however i have that 15 minutes volume imbalance with that i have this volume imbalance okay so i will just keep one line over there because i know there is a 15 minutes volume imbalance so around this okay i hope you guys can see this but let me make it bigger there is nothing to suggest why price opened or closed here okay there is nothing gap liquidity void this is also a part of ict speed array okay volume imbalance volume imbalance full of volume imbalance above so i need to get a very beautiful structure where i can actually enter into a sell short trade now i choose a very wrong month to teach you guys especially december since i'm even i'm not even trading anymore like i just requested my payout here i have a volume imbalance here i have volume imbalance volume imbalance everywhere so i have to be very careful about taking a entry so let's see if still i didn't get any market structure shift and you if you are watching i don't count week as my market structure uh, structure shift i want to see body closing so price took this liquidity still didn't get market structure shift on the smaller time frame it's still inside of my um point of interest and remember here i had a 15 minutes volume imbalance too so there are a lot of areas for price until it takes that liquidity i'm still happy to look for entries now volume imbalances everywhere if you entered where could you possibly put your stop loss like if you entered somewhere here you are looking into a range price is still inside of the trends it didn't take the buy side it didn't take the sell side but i'm anticipating a sell side run so i need a setup inside of that range before it taking the buy side liquidity i'm looking for a setup for a sell side delivery so let's see remember what what i had over here the 15 minutes volume imbalance and also i added the one minute gap over the liquidity point so that's where price went however nothing i need a very clear market structure shift okay it's still inside that the moment it goes above that i'm i'm wrong i'm out of the bias 
so this is the inducement market is coming lower if it can give me a fair value gap okay fair value gap this that's the entry stop loss set all together now this time what you target you target this you target this that's your range right the range that you are anticipating from hard time frame so your target or your new sell side is this one remember you waited all this time not to just take any random low or these clean equal lows not like that what i'm saying here one is to four okay you can close half of your position at some liquidity levels let's say this clean level is giving you 2.2 close some there or i what i said one to two that's what i target or love to target you close here half but let's see if it delivered to the sell side or not see it created so many equals over here it created very clean relative equal over here like with this week and that it's a equal with that high and this relative equal but market before taking that it needs to take that okay if this is a dealing range and if my accumulation manipulation distribution is correct so move one move two move three move four now move five is happening but four was too far ahead okay because it had that volume imbalance too far ahead okay liquidity void over there that's why you see there is not nothing okay now you might have some questions you see there is nothing there is a gap why this area is important you can see black candle green candle weak why it's important you have a tennis ball you have another tennis ball in the air you have nothing to support it it will fall right but if you have another tennis ball here to support that now you can say okay this this tennis ball hanging on in the air now makes sense because it's actually not in the air there is another ball in between these two tennis balls or cricket ball to support that same thing you need here you will see whenever there is a gap like this or overlap like this the opposite thing will come and open or close inside of that area okay open or close why why i said if i want to see a open inside of that area i want to see a open from the top um like sorry i need a green candle right so i need to see a open at this level and closing here or i need to see a black candle wherever like here market is falling then it closed here next candle opened here closed here in this gap i want to see a black candle either opening from this range or opening here closing to this range okay both both thing i'll i'll give you some example you will make like understand it just remember this gap this what i want to see is a body is closing inside of this or opening inside of this you find that exact that is where it came now that's one example i gave you wait this is a black candle it didn't have anything until it opened here so i need some black candle to suggest or support that fact now i have greens as well over here okay here to here to here to here i have greens as well and black as well so let's see green and black i need green and black body opening closing inside of this area let's see look black candle where stopped where stopped green black then again gap now i don't have the data here like i'm on the replay mode i will show you later that one if i don't forget like every other thing but let me give you some more okay when i'm talking about this why how i find it 
I didn't find it from ICT. I find it from observation. Okay, that's what I said earlier in my video that observation is the key. What is here? A green candle opening from here and this is a green week as well. It doesn't matter if it's green or black, but this green candle opened here. So price opened higher. I don't have anything to support that gap. So I need that support as a green. Shit. This one. Look. More you want to see more? Let me let me look for more. Okay, I found here. Here. Yeah. This candle didn't stop inside. Look later on once, twice, thrice, fourth, four sorry, fourth time stopped. Okay, open or close what I said. Inside of this area. Here. Look happened at the same level what happened with this overlapping black candle this black candle closed here right come here this black candle closed here the immediate next black candle opened here so it opened higher there is nothing that can support that green that upward move okay from this to that whatever the price is regardless of the price or the move size there is nothing that supports that market was here during this moment later on look there is a gap here as well when market will come to this area i will have a look what happens okay what i what i expect is a green candle opening or closing inside if it closes okay a green candle how can it close inside let me clear that as well when i want to see this i want to see a green candle either opening from here closing either here or here okay or a green candle can open lower but closing here right here okay on on that high either green candle opening from the low of that gap or it's opening lower closing at the high of that gap i need that to support that part of area okay like the body like that not this okay this black was not supported like how it came this low it was not supported until this happened price opened closed there is no volume imbalance here why i'm saying there is no volume imbalance here because you see okay there is actually this part because there is nothing to support that why the black candle opened from here now it is fulfilled but why there is nothing here is because market closed here the next candle came lower it's okay but it couldn't finish or close higher wherever the previous candles closing us it's the exact same that's where the next candle opened it closed again opened close again opened close same where is the volume imbalance right here let's see when market comes to this area what sort of green i need a green candle closing anyway i'm giving you few areas let's see when market comes like this area and this area if there is a green candles body covering like this or not okay so here i need a black candle i found the black candle here i needed green candle closing at the top or opening from the bottom it closed at the top let's see it happens here or not when market comes to the low or some something around this area if it goes higher uh, to give me the entry if if that happens or not let's see remember this one what i need a green candle opening from the lower part or closing at the bottom higher part it's came lower going higher let's see what is this green opening at the lower or i said or closing at the top but opening at the lower covered that area okay here is a gap what sort of gap nothing to suggest that high that's why you have two green candles at the same area maybe that's why i don't know maybe it's it's just observation i don't use this information to trade 
nothing to suggest that price went higher no candle no body nothing liquidity void so similar candle like this i'm expecting here and since market from low going to this area i'm expecting a close inside of this box so let's see if it goes there okay now here let's see nothing to suggest see where it closed opened lower closed inside nothing to suggest here no it's the same level exact same level so no volume imbalance however nothing to suggest here okay look closed inside closed inside anyway that's some some confluences okay that's some added convey exactly what i was expecting here and why i was expecting this is what i'm trying to give you guys like it's not i'm just showing you one after another one do you think it's possible to remember all the, now look it took the sell side and gave you whatever the risk to reward was anyway but what i'm saying here is do you think like how many i have showed you is it possible to give you this like this one price is still didn't fill it up so i don't know if if that actually happens every time or not but how many times it happened one two three four uh five six seven just you think guys you think why this this area this this black candle closed right there why not going higher when there is equal low or why it opened from sorry black candle it opened from here look what happened here price closed right at that area okay this is where the previous green candle closed let me make it a different color the red box green candle closed there okay this green candle but the next immediate black candle opened here this is printing error or the delay of printing i don't care i don't care because it takes some time to print the candle when the next candle opens but do you have this yes you have a volume imbalance you keep it like that okay make it think simple you keep this volume imbalance look the next green candle closed here but black candle opened here because there is nothing to suggest that this was the low like something dropped from here to here and then it started going lower nothing to suggest that same thing here what i said same thing here nothing to suggest that happened let's see and also nothing to suggest this green happened so let's see if i have a green body and black body inside of that area or not look look now this time you didn't expect green why because the black is due first these are the observation guys i'm saying this this green i didn't expect to stop here first why because the black is due first you see this price opened higher nothing here that's why you have a green here later on you have a gap now i don't know if later on market give any damn to these areas or not but for now whatever i'm showing it's it's acting like that right and do you think like these many in just this area that i showed it's possible to keep in mind and remember it and then give you guys okay here another one okay i just found it i'm i'm while i'm talking i'm looking for this look nothing to suggest the higher run or lower run you find it here is another one okay black candle from green black opening there let's pull this on to that candle and it's look at the size as well it's it's the same size okay so what i'm saying black candle this green candle close here black candle opened here and close here there is nothing to suggest that high run i need a body either opening from low or a body closing to the top you have body opening low closing top same thing here actually like the next one happened here because you see the volume imbalance nothing to suggest this is the close of the candle here is it opened or this candle here why there is nothing to suggest that green that green happened here i'm saying what i'm seeing okay i'm not giving you something random i don't know i saw something here as well there is a green formed over here that doesn't has anything to support let's see let's see if if that was ever done or tested or not ever because i can see some body opening on top but nothing closing inside of that area so i have to look until i find that finally 
and that same area might have multiple volume imbalances maybe i don't know like i'm just i'm just looking i'm learning for myself as well while making the video but i, w I was expecting a green area area uh, or green body inside of this i found that here no matter how far or how long it to actually here but that makes more sense actually i found it here i just noticed but you see like this area is a stopping price now a lot of people will say it's uh, stopping because of this black why this black candle is nothing it's nothing there is a volume imbalance right above that black candle it's not a, sp a stopping because of that there is nothing to suggest that after this candle closed here what took the market there to come lower from that area it should come lower from this area so i need something green around that area okay from this to this or mainly it's from this opening to the previous closing wherever the volume imbalance is from this opening to closing i have nothing to suggest the open and close so i need a green around that that's the green i got as simple as that and exactly that is what you saw here that is what you saw here okay so if i just take that void over there that is exactly what you saw that price is stopping right there it didn't go a tick above why because that's how far inefficient price was that weak means nothing that's why it didn't create any any single weak above that area just look it created nothing above that area same thing here it created nothing above that area because there is nothing that can give you that if the uh, body was a bit higher it could go that far as simple as that anyway i i hope you getting my point this is observation i don't know how i can use it in my trading yes knowing this sort of things is helping me um, not losing too many trades okay that's why i said observation anyway so that was a dealing range example that works in your way or when it works in your way let me go back and find another example uh, and end the video as short as possible that doesn't work in your way and why it doesn't work okay okay so just to make the video shorter i just marked until this far i have a accumulation phase i have the buy side taken i have the sell side taken now this is a possible dealing range i don't know if that is the dealing range or not because and un until the like this level at the premium all i have is a volume imbalance nothing but the volume imbalance okay but that's my buy side new buy side that's my new sell side okay now let's see what market does it gave me a retracement nothing it gave me a lower run okay so like a retracement candle nothing over there now i'm gonna extend it i have a little portion of the 15 minutes fair value now aligning but let's see if it goes there okay it went even lower now price is going towards the premium and i have a premium array as well here a 15 minutes fair value okay so since it's stepping into that premium array let me drop down to one minute chart and let's see if i have anything on the okay that looks very bad in lower time frame now around this area okay so i have my premium and discount i have my um 15 minutes premium array and 15 minutes volume imbalance around that area that's my buy side that's my dealing range okay forget about buy side sell side just dealing range now this is where market can fail and how market can fail let's say you entered into a trade you lost like whenever that happened you lost some of your money okay now okay before i do this let me do another thing let me mark the otz and my one minute fair value gaps or rather rest of pdrs inside of that otz okay so now that i have a fair value sitting here fair value sitting there on on that 15 minutes volume imbalance i have a fair value so i have one fair value here and i'll write it back breaker gap okay there is a reason behind that i will explain in a second and this fair value is completely traded but that's aligning with my otg so i'll keep both of them it's completely traded so i don't think this will be needed this will be a better option to look for but let's see let's see because i'm not looking into this fair value 
although okay i'll just keep an eye on this fair value as well but not this fair value why because that fair value was completely traded okay it closed the body at the high of that fair value but anyway this is a breakaway gap why because when this fair value was created market tapped into that fair value it just tapped by a little portion it kept all the other imbalances over there unfilled and remember that 15 minutes volume imbalance in one minute it looks like this let's see when there if price goes there or not so so this is my one minute fair value let's say i took entry here as i said I didn't get any market structure shift first thing first I need a market structure and now it traded in my OTZ if I see price is giving me a market structure shift a fair value gap and then violating these equal highs or this highs that is the indication because why it traded in my OTZ right So I think this fair value gap was the entry. If uh, I have, if if I take this entry, and what I target the low, but as I said, you take some partial at one to two. That's your. That's up to you guys. You have so many relative equal lows here. You can take some partial. For me, if I have the option, I would highly recommend or i would always take the partial at one to two before going for a huge move like this because it's like seven seven r okay so it's good to take some partial so let's say i'm in entry if i hit my stop loss first or if i hit my partial just a second let me check here i still didn't hit the stop loss although it's very cloudy okay now that price has taken this okay what do i have around this area can you can you see what i said about this high because it's inside of my otz now price will go to that high take that and if there is anything on the left relative to uh, related to that high it will take that high so let me take out my otz one last time and don't forget this red box i want to see candles body closing there uh, but especially black on but what happened here i took a loss right i lost one percent of my account but since i lost it and i saw it's taking that liquidity this is where i changed my bias see price came to the discounted area now it went up higher took that liquidity so that means it is not willing to go lower now and take the sell side instead it is willing to go higher and take the buy side okay although as i'm saying december is not the month to show this sort of things but still it works it works you have multiple levels of liquidity grab you have mul multiple levels of market structure shift you have multiple fair value gaps however let's see if i can find a better entry point or not okay i go went too far but here i have a area to enter since it's coming out of a 15 minutes fair value gap and retesting the 15 minutes but let's see let's see where i can possibly enter i actually missed it anyway but it's okay it's okay i'll i'll still look for entry around this leg why i said i missed it is because from this low this low already taken so many liquidities here and then gave you the market structure shift i should have drawn my otz i forgot see it came to the otz came to that fair value gap with volume imbalance and the other fair value and what i said about this fair value that sitting lower than the otz or lower than your liquidity level ignore that because if market goes there there is a high probability market can go even lower so yeah i missed my otz entry sorry about that but that was fair value and this is supposed to work as a breakaway gap okay this is supposed to be uh, working as a breakaway gap and this is my fair value so i should have entered from the otz however if market comes inside of this fair value it's a huge fair value so i'm gonna put my position there a stop loss is still should be here and where is the dealing range high here 2.88 now i can okay so now i'm in a trade okay 
huge fair value gap that's why i put the 15 minutes fair value gap high as my entry point however it can still come lower i really don't man i mean i'm being honest i really don't know if this is the moment it goes higher or if this is if it wants to come lower one more time and then goes higher so if i lose another entry i i don't trade no matter how clean the setup is as simple as that but this was the entry that i missed that's why i put it lower that's the target i could have put it like this low but i'm not willing to do that how clean up these lows are price if i'm not wrong it won't even take this liquidity so let's see let's see what happens now that's the target nothing in between not this low not looking into this nothing in between now one thing it i got my profit 2.88 loss medicated at the same time 1.88 are in profit or if i targeted simply one to two that's also done but these when you identify your dealing range and when you identify your proper market structure you don't target anything in between okay that's the first thing you either you target the buy side or you target the sell side in between all you can do is take some partial at one to two i might have closed 50 percent of my position if i had the option and rest i left it like this so it's not exactly 1.88 are profit it's like uh, 1 plus 1.44 so 2.44 are profit in total so after losing that 1% I still have 1.44% in profit if I took this entry if I found this entry like the the one that I missed from this fair value stop loss at this low targeting the same it could have given me 4.46 I don't mind I don't mind okay this is how I'm building my confidence okay I'm when I'm saying this I'm saying you I'm trying to be 100% honest because when I'm making this video it's giving me so many of my knowledge revi revisions like I'm revising my own knowledge that's why I don't try to cheat with other people and here I have nothing to do with providing wrong thing I said in my live stream I said in my YouTube videos that whatever I'm gonna get from YouTube once I get monetized every single penny i'm gonna donate i'm not gonna use a single dollar either a little bit of the youtube revenue i will try to like contribute it to the community the youtube community maybe some you know giveaway type things or something sometimes other than that most of the time what i'm gonna do is every single penny i'm gonna get from youtube will be donated i will donate everything when i build a dedicated community better community i want to do the same thing with all of you guys together like if you guys have the ability or option to donate we can we can organize those things together that's what my goal is from youtube nothing else building a community that that loves humanity okay so guys i think i have provided enough information uh, when learning this or when implementing something you must look into your own chart you must do your back test for test and find the age on your market the understanding i might be making mistakes or i might be giving or telling you something that is not making sense to you if that is the case let me know also if there is anything that you can suggest me i'm i'm open i'm happy to learn from you too so there is no problem regarding that until next time, take a very good care of yourself and your health and your family. So, bye-bye.